Hi, this is Patricia with Patricia Paper Crafts. I'm doing another video. This is probably my third or fourth one. But what I did was I made a project, and I'm going to call it a keepsake uh, box for a little baby boy. And it's for a young lady. She's having her baby shower um, next Saturday, April. I think that's April 29th. Nope must be April 30th. Um, I want to give you so you can see what I did. I decorated this keepsake box with pattern paper. I used lots and lots of pattern paper. I uh, cut out little things to put on, uh, cut out things from the pattern paper to put on the um, tin. So, but I use a few um, 3D embellishment, like this little boot here was a 3D embellishment. This little rattle for a baby was a 3D embellishment. But everything else, as you can see, this was from pattern paper and even the plane. I'll turn this around so you can get an idea, so you can kind of see what I did, and then I'll show you the paper last. You can kind of see that. Now this is the outside. Now the lid I did a little bit different, I'll, so you can get a, so you can really see that. I used a different paper, and those are little wooden uh, trains that I used on the top. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the handle yet. I might paint it. I didn't really want to put any ribbon on it because it's for, you know, like little tiny bows because it's for a boy. I wanted to do something different, so I'm not sure. I didn't complete that yet. But on the inside of this lid, the paper is, is um, uh, baby feet. And on here, I put a little verse. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not turn from it. Proverbs 22, 6. That's the inside of the lid. Also on the inside you see blue tissue because I didn't want to do the felt thing that I normally do. I wanted to do something a little bit different. And then I put ribbon on the inside uh, um, trim, little blue ribbon as you can see. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to add something else. But on the inside of this will be diapers. It'll be like wipes and little things that the new mom can use for her baby. I want to also show you a little bag that I did to put the uh, gift card in and the um, um, the greeting card I made for the new for the new mom. This is the bag, and again, it comes from the uh, pattern paper, which is all from you know yeah. Leftover scrapbooking sheets. That's all it is. And I just want to show you what I did. Okay. That's all I did. But I want to show you how I got my inspiration for this. It was, um, this is one of the books that I, that I really, really like. It was, um, called Baby Showers. And I looked through that. And I got some inspiration from that. But I always get a lot of inspiration from great gifts ideas. And this is a Tweedly Jill publication. She has lots and lots of books. And I just I have all of her books. And I'm telling you, when I get stuck on a project, uh, I just take the book out and just lay it on the table. And that just gives me a lot of inspiration. I'll make sure that I put up her... Um, her uh, website on my blog so everyone will know exactly um, to go and hopefully you like this here and I'll just show you a little bit here's the tin again so you can get an idea now I'll show you the paper that I use this is the ri here is the ribbon that I used here you can see the ribbon okay now you can see some of the paper that I use. Okay. Here's another of the paper. These are the first sheet and this sheet I got from Hobby Lobby. And the third sheet also came from Hobby Lobby. That's where I cut out the teddy bear. 
these teddy bears are really really great they really pop out so maybe I better put a little bit of glitter on the eyeballs or something then I got this particular paper here from Joanne's fabric I love this paper I mean I hadn't seen anything quite like this here and it was just different and so you can kind of get a look okay okay I want to thank you for looking at this video and I wish everyone a happy Easter remember it's all about Christ